Hello, my dear friends. This is a Painty Cat. My name is Catherine. Welcome on my tutorial. Today we're going to paint with acrylic on a paper and we will create a lovely bouquet of pansies. This is a demonstration version of tutorial. The real time one is much longer. It's going in a 1 hour and 46 minutes and you can find a real time tutorial by following links down below. So, let's start. About colors right now. I'm using white. Under it you can see lamb black. It's a burnt umber next and a light ochre. About my surface, it's a paper right now. It's a canvas textured, but this painting also can be done on a canvas on board or stretched canvas. It's a A4 size. And I'm planning right now stone table, because also in this tutorial we will um, learn how to create stone texture in easy way. It's about 5 cm from the bottom line and a top surface here, not very thick, it's about 1.5 cm. Notice, please, of course, we can easily cover these lines with acrylic, but I put extra marks on a tape on the left and the right to understand better where this top surface is gonna be. Let's mix some colors. Lots of white, bit of brown, which is umber burnt. Not too watery, but also not too thick consistency. And a tiny bit of ochre. My brush right now is from this set of IKEA brushes. Really wide one, but also smooth one. I love this brush. I'm starting from the right side. Here we're gonna have a light. And my brush strokes kind of random, isn't it? Sometimes smooth gradient on the background looking kind of boring, I believe. So I like to keep their visible brush strokes, especially from the white brushes. Next color, the same but a bit deeper. Mm, like this. And mix it, dab it well, cover all paper, try to fill all those structure of canvas we have. Again, this is not a smooth paper, it's a canvas textured, really, really similar to real canvas. Try to put acrylic inside, cover with a nice coverage. Random brush strokes, blend it well, and on the left side I will go with a deepest tone on a background area. Let me mix more on the Anna Black. Nice color, love it. My moves really intense. And even if background not completely smooth, it's still looking interesting and I believe well done. I love these lines there. About stone table. Uh, as a first layer, use just a deep enough brown like this. Don't think right now about top and a side surfaces. Just put dark brown color everywhere. And next tool we have right now it's a palette knife. Important notice. Please dry this layer very well before you will go with your palette knife. 
About palette knife, white acrylic have to be thick consistency, not watery at all. The best way not to add water at all. And put some random spots. White spots not covering um, stone area completely. And deep brown still visible through it, isn't it? And a canvas texture looking nice as well. And this white layer have to be dried completely as well. Please use hair dryer to make a process faster. Do not glaze with the next layer till white color will be drying because instead of glazing you will get a mixing. And a next step it's a glazing on top. Important do not use a white right now. Uh, on my palette you can see it's a watery consistency, very translucent, very thin. Colors there, it's a ochre, those yellow one, it's a ochre light, and those pink one, it's a deep pink. I'm mixing deep pink and ochre with a brown and black, and on this tab we can make a difference between top surface and a side one and we drying again my friends here on a demo we have not enough time to go very clear on each step about the whole process you can take a look on a real-time version of tutorial let's jump on the next step which is transferring of sketch but be sure background area dry it very 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 well you can print sketch it's ready to print on a patreon also you can find it uh, following links in the description box and i used an easy way uh, with a layer of a pencil graphite on the back side preparation done so we actually can start paint flowers no any white. This is the main idea for this big step. Here we're gonna plan main colors and spots for future pansies. And if you want to create a white flower, use any mixes. For example, it can be a bit of green ochre and a white. It can be another way, a bit of pink and violet instead of green. In my view, green here looking kind of fresh. I like it. And I'm starting from the outline. Sketch can be nicely visible here. And going inside. Also, we can go from the center and go out like this. This way we creating main shapes of petals one by one i'm not gonna use lots of colors today for pansies uh, most of them gonna be violet and a combination of violet and white first pansy gonna be white with a dark outline second one gonna have a combination of bottom white Petal, others gonna be violet. Third one in a bouquet, in a pot, gonna be a clear violet. And others, hmm, let's think about it later. Don't skip pot, it's important part. I wanna create a view. Uh, it's not a porcelain one, so I don't wanna blend colors here too well, too smooth. Instead of, I wanna create a pot made in with a clay. I have similar one at my home, so I can see it in the real. It's very, very tiny one and it's a handmade it. So <laughs> shape not perfect, but I love it. Looking beautiful. So uh, we have light here from the left going to the right. Left area on uh, pot. On a light, I used the same light green. 
middle color here gonna be grayish violet it's really looking as I mixed a tiny bit of black there isn't it but it's not so take a look on my palette there is no black at all this grayish going from the mix of violet and a green try it it's really looking beautiful these two colors taking saturation of each other a little bit down but mix not looking gray it's still colorful and it's giving a very gentle and a beautiful color to the composition same way light from the left let me blend in a little bit more and it's not a white again it's a light green and maybe a tiny bit of brown as well here yeah this color is pretty and from the right side we will take a deeper color and blend opposite way next from the right to the left and in the center we will blend them together again no any black yet here and even if you're looking for deep color try to play around those colors that are already on palette violet green and burnt amber can give together a really really deep and still good looking color not just a flat black don't forget about cast shadow under the bowl. It's important because teal object have no shadow under it, looking like it's floating in the air. Main shape for pot is done and we can go to the next step, which is dark petal planning. Here I also have some interesting color mix for you. It's a combination of violet, deep pink and umber burnt again. Just try it. It's so adorable shade. I describe this color as a plum. Those uh, dark purple plums. Sometimes those fruits have a tiny like a brownish spots on it. Color very deep but still juicy. No any tiny hint of black or gray in it no very saturated still deep and it's shade we're looking for here for these flowers top petal i created with a um, flat slanted brush because this petal more pointy and have not that wavy edge on it so slanted brush here uh, was perfect and for left and right petal I got back to my uh, watercolor brush I love it have a nice and uh, pointy tip giving very good control on a shape and I'm forming creating petal by petal again here a small petal look let's give a really nice color into it And this petal that laying on top of a previous one, I will divide them through the tiny gentle line between. Look, I'm just not covering the whole area. I left gentle thin line between them and that's it. It's looking like one petal laying on top of another. With this dark color, I'm going from outline inside to the center. Consistency not watery, so my brush strokes not long. It's almost dry brush technique. And for bottom petal, I will start from the center. Let me add a bit more carmine and deep pink into the mix and I'm going from the center trying to cover like a half of a petal 
spreading color gently and a little tiny bit here same way we are gonna create deep violet areas in a pansy number one those that gonna be white in the end imagine you starting from the center of the petal and going not too far trying not to get the arch of the petal but you have to cover only a needle maybe a little bit more the same for next petal any brush strokes here have to follow natural shape of the petal i just can't go with a random brush strokes they all have follow natural lines and blending color well that's it we have to continue and complete all shapes of flowers here and don't miss also little buds and next let's jump to the green it's uh, leaves and a tiny stems and i like the idea to use a contrast not just between colors light and a dark but also between different shapes look we have here really huge flowers but look at the stems i'm gonna create they gonna be so tiny very thin and smooth lines see no any details created yet i use just a basic middle shaded green for leaves and stems and i will detail them later with a shadow color and a light color but before we will be able to do it let's detail petals for our pansies again light but not white color yet yes it's much lighter than petals before petals we created before but color still very very light it's have a gentle hint of rose deep and even if you can see the difference clearly on a paper difference between white and a light pink you can see it on my palette take a look white i have on top light pink under the violet color and we have to outline each petal for each fancy uh, here we can use a different techniques for blending take a look for first we're gonna use here it's a blending with a dry brush and i will switch from the brush number zero here is a line and as soon as line here i can blend it in an area of petal and this way petal will look a little bit velvety because of blending look how beautiful it's looking don't need to use blending everywhere it's just some areas of outline and also be able here to blend with a finger look this blending going faster but it's had less control so for big areas for let's say not too difficult shaped um not too curvy lines of petals it will do but for very tiny details or if you want to be sure you blend not further than this area for example use better control with a pointy tip and don't forget we have to clear finger or a tool we blending with means our blending brush we have to clean it time by time because after blending some acrylic sticks to it and it can bring accidental colors and spots from previous blending areas for dark petals i used light color for my light green let's say white um pansy 
I used dark violet as outline. And as soon as our pansy is done, we have to put in each center yellow dots there. Very clear yellow, very bright. I like how it's looking. And after, we can complete green leaves. This time it's a really simple shade. It's a green medium, a little bit of um, umber burn and also I will bring here a yellow medium. I used it for centers for my uh, pansies and I believe it will look pretty for green leaves as well. Uh, after the layer of shadows done, we can also bring some highlights color here have to be very very bright and clear. Bring here yellow medium, very saturated green medium and also I'd like to put nice amount of white. This highlight color have to be very catchy, very crispy I'd say, sharp so don't blend it and put it not everywhere on some pointy areas, here and there, tiny touch, and maybe here on top, a little bit, but again, don't put it everywhere, it's very important. You can take a look on your painting, you can analyze what area looking most beautiful in your view and there those highlight details will be needed. As last detail I put my sign here and painting done. My friends, all we have to do right now is dry our painting and remove tape. I will remove tape with a hot air from my hair dryer, this way we're not risking to throw any tiny piece of paper. If you still have any questions, welcome on the comments and ask me there. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. And also, welcome on my Patreon, there you can find a real-time version of this tutorial. I really hope you enjoy these flowers, this tiny bouquet, and I will catch you on next tutorials. It was a painty cat, and I wish you all the best. Bye-bye.